Hello. Oh. My name is Lois, and I am doing a book review about an Asperger girl with Asper Asperger syndrome. Her name's Lizzie. Fantastic. Thank you, Lois. And, and Lois, you're joining us because you are our ambassador for the month of April, and this is what you want to do. So, Lois, why have you chosen this book? Because I wanted to show people that even though they may seem like they don't have autism, um, it's actually called a hidden autism. And I wanted to show them what it's like to be a hidden disability girl. OK, fantastic. So, Lois, can you tell us a little bit about the book and maybe like the best bits, the bits that you think are really great? Yeah, so I think the good bits are probably when she tells a bit more about what girls are a bit like, um, how they're really good at blending in with each other and trying to look very um, like their selves. And this is a and this is the page about when she doesn't like when she doesn't really like loud noises and stuff and she doesn't like ruffly clothes whereas other people don't really notice this stuff and there's also this page where she gets really angry scared or sad uh, and she doesn't know why i get sad very easily and i don't know why i am mm. okay and lois do you know anybody yourself that is a little bit like the people in the book or the girl in the book um so i think i'm kind of like lizzie but here's the thing i don't really like anime i don't think much like her and i don't look like her but the looking doesn't really matter but what's important is that we're all autistic and that's just okay for us because it's okay to be autistic yeah absolutely lois and I know I came to your school before and, and spoke about um, spoke about autism and that's how I first met you. And Lois, what, what does autism mean to you? I think it means like it's a really good thing. It's like a little superpower just for people like your kind. But other people don't have it and other people might not notice it. It's like Superman. Superman is basically just a normal regular man who met Lois Lane obviously yes. and basically he's basically just a normal man but then he turns into superman which is basically kind of what it's like to be autistic although you don't fly around saving people's butts from bad guys chairs or anything else no you don't always do that but you do help lots of people Lois, because you've been a great ambassador with us so you are you are being a superhero in some way and by by doing this video as well i think it will help others it's a bit of a big question, Lois. Let's see how you do with it. Do you think autism is different for boys and for girls? Oh, well, it says that in here. It um, Well, actually, it turns out, yes, autism is different to boys and girls. You see, here's a page about it. And here's the thing. So um, do you think, Lois, that, that's a going to give me a really good question now. Do you think teachers know enough about autism? Actually, no, I don't think they do. They're, they're a bit too focused on one thing and they can't really take the time to think and talk about other ch children's things. Like when I try to tell my other my teachers um, that I have autism, they're suddenly super caught up in geography or secret times or whatever um maybe french but still they definitely really have the time to listen to other children's brilliant ideas and that's what really causes me to think mm, yeah that's that's really honest lois with the book as well you've obviously enjoyed the book because you wanted to share it with us what why should other people maybe buy that book that you you've showed with, showed us today well, I think that they could spread the news and they could show other children with Asperger's syndrome that it's a really good book and that they should read it more it's because people with Asperger's syndrome could know about this and they could be and they could be a big fan of this book and they could be and they could learn about it and actually know what it's like. Mm. When, when you read that book, Lois, how did it make you feel? 
it made me feel like, wow, I get this doll quite a lot. Except for one thing that I don't agree on, but let's just put that away. Um, so basically, I sometimes don't agree with Lizzie, but sometimes I do. So um, say for instance, which is true, um, Lizzie is a very smart and independent girl, but I don't agree with her on this. Aspire girls often have a special talent at being able to blend in with other others and look just like the other girls, like being an actress and I guess where the school is the stage. I don't really agree on her that the school is the stage and she's an actress, but still, I think it's a very good book and that people should read it. Brilliant. You've, you've sold that book pretty well. And just remind us, Lois, just remind us of the title. And if you can, can you tell us who wrote the book as well? OK. Yes. By Tony Atwood. By Tony Atwood. So if you hold it up, you can read the title. Which is there you go. Brilliant. And so I am an Ashley girl. Can you say that? I am an Aspire girl. Fantastic. It's by Tony. And it's by Tony Alton Atwood. Atwood. Fantastic. <laughs> Brilliant. And that I know we'd just talk about this book today, and it's okay if you say no, but are there any other books that you've read about autism that you think people should know mm. about? Oh, well, that is a big yes, because I have because I have seen a ton of my classmates reading Can You See Me or Ways to Be Me, just like that stuff. And I think it's really good for children to be reading this type of stuff. I think it's really good for their education and great for them to learn about people being Asperger's, having Asperger's syndrome. So yes, I'd say that's a big yes. I also have the book Can You See Me, as my mum has brought me yes um i think that these are very good books and that people should read more of them i love can you see me as well and i work with the youth service now and they've ordered lots of those books to help other people in the youth service understand autism but why should people read about autism lois how will that help do you think so basically, if they meet a friend in the playground or somewhere else, maybe in a park, they could basically just like do more stuff and they could talk about them and be really good friends and actually maybe BFFs. So and if they don't know this, they could they could probably read these three books. I want to show this one. These three books are very good and educational for people who don't know about autism. And if people do read them, I'm glad because that, that will show them a big difference in their life. That's fantastic, Lois. You've explained that so well. And I love what you said about friendships. And I know the third book that you held up there is, is the survival guide, isn't it? For girls with autism, I think, because I've, I've read that one as well. And I think it's really good. So that's another one that you'd want people to read. Yeah. Yes, I think it's very good um, and that we need to start thinking more about people with autism and set and think and everybody's up. And I think this is a big question. Mm -hmm. How are people with autism different to other people with no autism? Oh, that's a great question. Are you asking me that question, Lois, or do you want other people who are watching this video to think about it? I think the um, both actually, oh. um, you and the other people watching it. OK, shall I answer it now then? Hokey dokey. So I, I think the difference is that people just see things differently. So people with autism, their brains might be working in such a way that they're looking at the world in one way. And some people without autism are just looking at the world in a different way. And it's not to say that one is right and one is wrong. It's just different. So I think for me, Lois, it's just about showing each other that actually it doesn't matter if you have autism or if you don't. Everybody is a human being and we just need to respect each other. Does that answer make sense? Yes. 
Yes, I'm friends with anybody. Um, I'm friends with loads of boys, loads of girls, even animals, like my daughter Sherlock, mm -hmm. and everybody else around me. Even though I might not like some people and they may be mean to me, you must always be kind to people, even if they are kind of rude. That's lovely, Lois. So I'm just going to kind of round things up a little bit and just say, is there like a final message about your book that you want to say as part of this video? Yes, um, I was going to say about her. She is a very amazing girl and so are people with autism and not. And boys, they are amazing and I'm proud of them to be like this because even if you're not autistic or if you are, you're still very good at stuff and you're still very amazing.